Hello. Hey guys, so I'm Frank and this I'm is Lyndon. Lyndon. And finally, it's time for resonance made easy with negative charges. You guys have been asking this for a little bit while and I owe you guys this video from two years ago. So here it is. And uh, because I made you wait two years, I'm gonna give you guys a bonus video and Lyndon's gonna go through. Uh, resonance made easy with positive charges. Yeah, exactly. You guys are gonna do it with that uh, molecule. And so uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this molecule first in this part one video. And then he'll do that. So as always, first, why don't you start off and hit pause, try out these two problems, see how many resonance structures you can find, and then come back and join us. All right, so hit pause. All right, how'd it go? Did you get your, how many resonance structures did you guys get? Well, um, first off, if you're looking for the clutch prep promo code for this period, it's orgomadeeasy-hex, like hexane, and you can get 20% off clutch prep. If you don't know who they are, I'll have a video right here in the cards. You can check that out. But for this video, uh, first off, I want to give you my analogy for how I think about positive and negative charges. Uh, positive charges, like I said before in my uh, earlier first three videos, also, which if you, guys, if you haven't seen, I'll put them in the cards over here. There's three, video, there's three videos. Um, yeah, positive charges is like a hole or a valley where there's no electrons, and electrons are like water. So they're gonna come in and fill in that hole first chance they get. And then a negative charge is the opposite. It's like an excess ton of water. You have water that's in a dam, and then the moment you pop that dam, it's just gonna come flooding out in all directions. So uh, essentially, if water comes in from here and fills in that hole, or that positive charge, well then you're going to get a new hole over here, because now you're missing water, and then that's essentially how I think about it. And if you pop that dam, and all that water comes rushing out, let's say it goes this way, well then you won't get that negative charge there, but now it's going to be over here. So, negative and positive. So yeah. Try that out, see if that helps you out. Um, that kind of helps me out when I'm stuck and I have a negative or positive charge. So, yeah, here we go. Um, this molecule right here, resonance structures. So, what can you do? Well, if I think about it that way, so the negative charge can come rushing out in all directions. So, let's analyze it. Can it go this way over here to make a double bond? It can. How do I know that? Well, this carbon over here has four bonds already. There's a missing bond with hydrogen that you can't see. But one of the bonds can move. So even though it's getting a fifth bond, it's going to lose a bond, so that's okay. And we're going to move this bond onto this nitrogen, just like that. All right, so here we go. Um, this is now a double bond. These two electrons are now in the bond, like that. And then these two electrons are now on the nitrogen as a lone pair. Okay, and then, um, before we work off this, I like to just keep going off the original structure to see what else I can do. Uh, it's just this way I don't lose any resonance structures. So, let's analyze it this way. Can this negative charge or lone pair go down? Uh, well, it can. Same thing. If you go down here, to make a double bond, this nitrogen is going to have too many bonds, but then it has a pi bond here that can move away. So, this pi bond, I'm just going to dump all the electrons over here onto that carbon. So, and then here it gets kind of messy. So just like in my previous video where I taught you, label this A, 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 and label these arrows B and B, and you can go, let's go down here. B. So let's see, the negative charge is now down here. And then we have, let's see, this little bond's still there. We haven't touched it. Resonance B. Now this double bond is over here. We have a new double bond. And there we go. Two resonance structures. And just like before, let's not give up on this one yet. Let's see if we can do anything else. And there's one more resonance that you can do. Well, that negative charge or excess water can flow one more direction up here to make the double bond over here. Okay, so let's do this. And then by doing that, this carbon's gonna get overloaded with five bonds. But, same thing, you know the story already, this bond is movable, so it's going to go up onto the oxygen of the carbonyl. Alright, so we'll label these arrows C and C, 
and we'll go over here this time. Let's see. All right, so this is double bonds there. We haven't touched it. This double bond's gone. Let's bring this up to here as a lone pair. There's already two lone pairs there, so I'm gonna draw those guys in as well. So just so everything's complete. Um, all right, so we have double bond over here, and that's it for that resonance. Cool. Okay, so that's three resonances ready. Uh, did you guys get them? If you did, good job. If you didn't, um, now you know. All right, so we can find a few more resonance structures. So let's analyze this guy, the first one that we made. Uh, can this negative charge go anywhere? Well, can it go this way? It can, but we're just gonna be going back to our original resonance structure if we do that, so let's not do that. Where else can it move? It can go right. So this can go here because this pi bond can move up to the oxygen. So here we go. Uh, let's do this. Ooh, we got double bond here. And then negative charge up here. I'm not gonna draw the lone pairs in, just to keep it simple. All right, and then the charges. So nitrogen lost electrons. That's why it's now neutral, it's no charge. These two electrons are now in that bond. So then technically it lost the right electron because it's now carbons. All right, can we go on from here? Mm, not really, because you can go down, but that'll just bring you back to here. So we give up on this resonance structure. And now we have these two to work off of. So where, what can we do? Can we do this one? Oh, I just realized something. I'm missing bond. Can this go anywhere? Well, this can come down, but then we're just gonna be, once again, going back to that resonance structure with that double bond there, and this will have to go back onto that. So this resonance structure is stuck, can't do anything. Um, last one is this one, and yes. We can send these electrons, not this way, because that's gonna go back again to our original resonance structure. We're gonna go this way, just like that. Overload this carbon, force these electrons to dump onto this carbon, and then, That'll create a negative charge over here. Um, and then create a double bond over here. And then, let's see, we haven't touched that, so that double bond's still there. We haven't touched this, this double bond's still there. And here we go, negative charge over here. Uh, resonance structure, here. What can we do with this? Can we go back? Yes, we can, but we'll be going backwards, so let's go forward. And let's send these guys over here to make a new double bond. And that's going to overload this carbon, forcing these bonds up here onto the oxygen. And then we get another negative charge here. I'm going to have to erase that bond, because that bond's no longer there. Uh, this bond's still here. This bond's still here. This bond's still here. This new bond is formed. There we go. So altogether, this uh, molecule has one, two, three, four, five, six resonance structures, and those are the resonance structures. Okay, so there you go. That's how I think about negative charges. Hopefully that helps you out, and hopefully that analogy helps you out. Um, next, Lyndon's gonna show you how to do resonance with positive charges, so be sure to check out that in our part two video. Um, and if you like this video so far, be sure to like it down there, subscribe, hit the bell button if you want notifications when we make new videos, and if you wanna help support these videos, you can do so on our Patreon page. You can donate as little as a dollar or $2 a month, okay? All right, we'll see you guys in part two then. Bye.